Hey guys. Hey everybody. <laughs> Gary's getting the uh, camera set up. I'm watching our friend over there. Uh, if you clicked on this video, probably because of the title and it's true. Yeah, so we, um, we're coming out here. We're actually gonna go live tonight at six o'clock, but we had a problem. I came out here in the chicken coop and we have some brand new baby chicks under our turkey, but we also found a skunk. The skunk is underneath our stock trailer. Hey, Scott. Our stock trailer chicken coop. Hey, Teresa. And this isn't good. No. Uh, so what are we gonna do? So what we we need advice. Are we here for advice? We need 37 people's advice. Hey guys. All right. So current situation, we're out here in our chicken run. Let me show you. Chicken coop number one, chicken coop number two. And under that trailer right there is a skunk. Right by the wheel. So do you take him out? Cause I got something to do that and blow your tire out. Do you just leave him there? Do you try to chase him a little bit and then get him away from the tire? Do you watch him and wait until he gets <laughs> like a hundred yards away from the trailer? And we're also by a tree, so we can jump behind the tree. If hey, we getting to... close enough to stick this up its rear end, Scott. No. <laughs> I... And the the sad the scary thing was I was three feet away from him a while ago. I walked over there, got in the coop, and gathered like three eggs out of that coop. And when I did, he was right under the trailer. Here, you hold this. I'm gonna, gonna go. Hang on, oh. I'm gonna go get. Um, you got this for a second. I gotta get something to plug my phone in. Oh, do you know where everything is? Yeah, you on guard? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna set this down because don't need it right now. And I'm watching for his tail. If his tail goes up, I'm out. As long as his tail stays down. If he takes off, then I'll take care of him. But as long as his tail stays down. And we just did a live real quick. Hopefully we hit all the things we're supposed to hit. You guys are in here. So I think we're good. Uh, we're doing it on Gary's phone. Hopefully you can see and hear us good. My phone is, I, I ordered a new phone because mine's all messed up. And uh, it's supposed to be here by October 10th. But Chad ordered one the same time I did and he got his in like three days. So I'm not bitter, but you know, I'm still waiting. So yes, we have going and getting. Nope, I'm out. I hope you get spread. That's my sister. My sister said, I hope you get sprayed. Okay, and then I'm gonna to come to your house. So, get away from there, turkeys. Um, we don't see any, I see a whole lot of, I see a whole lot of feathers, but there are, some of them are kind of molting and stuff. I don't see any dead turkeys. We actually came out here because we have a really awesome surprise. Um, tarpet? I ain't getting that close, Chad. Uh, we have a really awesome surprise that Gary found out here when he came and done chores. And so we were videoing for that real quick. We were going to go live at 6. We came to video it. And I was actually showing right here in these bushes where this awesome surprise came from. If you guys have watched our videos, you probably know what happened. And I was standing right there talking about it. I happened to look over and a white stripe caught my eye. And I said, Gary, I see a skunk. So I'm standing there. And right there under that trailer, under the tire, is a skunk. So, do you take care of it and blow your tire out with your ammunition? Or do you, like what do you do? Let's see, what have you guys told me? I'm not doing what my sister said. Uh-oh, Gary's battery's going dead. We're still here. Hey, Rachel. Um... Shoot once in the air, be ready for him to run and then take care of him. That, that's an option. But will he spray us then? But will he spray us, Gary wants to know. I hope, and you got that on your little thing, but I guess they can hear us. Gary's phone's going dead, so he went and got the Jackery. We're covering up the camera. Is it charging? Did you run? Okay, maybe throw an egg out there to lure it out. Shoot and hope you get it on the first shot. Yeah, I sure hope so. I probably should have got a shotgun because they sh shoot quite a few BBs. I can, I could be arranged. Um, but we also have chickens, like look. So the chickens are just, you know, like look how close, right there, boom, boom. And then we have more chickens 
hanging out out here. I shouldn't turn my back on a skunk that is 10 yards from me. If they're running, they can't spray. Mm, okay, you chase it. Chasing, no. And I'll shoot it. <laughs> Jojo really wants in here. Um, so I wonder if there was more chicks and he may have ate, ate some of the chicks. Don't oh, lose oh, us. Tell, tell, tell was up. Did you just hide behind me? No, I'm hiding behind this tree. <laughs> he just does that every so often. I don't know if he has something. Yes, Mike, that's what I said. Mike says you're hiding behind no, me. No, I'm hiding behind a tree that's this way. If that tail goes up, I'm over. <laughs> Facts matter how you make that thing. That's kind of cool. I'll give you $5 to see if it's a male or a female. Yes, I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure this is a skunk. What else would it be? I don't know if, can you, can you see under that trailer at all? It's right by the wheel, that back wheel. It's black and white. Don't think it's a cat. If it was a cat, oh, oh. Are we just, we're gonna abandon y'all if he gets out. Oh, if he okay, moves. Give me the gun. No, 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 give me the bullet. Oh, if he moves. You don't moves, have to put one in the chamber, but be ready, cause he's doing something. Okay, I'm gonna put this one away. I can't read because he's he's going somewhere. He's moving. He's gonna move. Oh, oh my Lanta! Look, <laughs> I ran into that, and I think just I think I need new pants. Babe, he's climbing up into the trailer. Look, he's getting in that fender well. We, now we can't see him at all. I can see him. He's, I can still see the black right here. Okay, so people are driving by, and they they think I'm talking to this box and the stick. Get it chambered and ready. Jojo, go to the house. Jojo, house. All right, Jojo's leaving. Sacrifice the tire. I'm with you, Chad. Uh, I mean, enough of y'all watch this video. We can afford a new tire, I guess. It's a double axle, so. <laughs> Those tires are probably old anyway. Um, Scott said, get the dog behind you. I sent Joe home. Joe, house. Go. Joe, go to the house. He's all right. He's halfway there. If you see his butt, check this shot. Well, right now, all I see is a tail hanging. That's only his tail hanging. He got up underneath the... Tr is he in the tire? Is he, like, laying so on the axle? he's on the... Um, it's got a... Uh, um, Do you have one in the chamber? No, it's right okay. here. So it's got... An Wait, nope. It's got an axle that um, has leaf springs. So he climbed up under the leaf spring. Sarah said JoJo listens better than her kids. So he's like on, I think his head's on the leaf spring and yeah. his tail is hanging down. And Look, his... see his head's down. Ooh. See, you see that? Yeah. You could shoot that. Well, you'd, you'd still blow the tire out. We're gonna get demonetized so bad because we've said so many words, no. but yeah, that's but... okay. My heart's racing too fast to think of freedom stick. Okay. What does Chad call it? Um, freedom candy. Um, <laughs> yeah, Regina. I, I just tripped over this when I was moving and uh, I about had to go change my britches because it scared the poo okay, out of I'm me. I'm going to walk around. Is he getting in the coop? No, I'm going to walk around the trailer and make sure he doesn't. Okay, um, I'll give you a dollar to go shut the coop door. No. So, sorry I'm at this angle. I'm trying to keep my eye on him. Babe, his head's coming towards me. His head's facing me. This thing must be a pet, because this is chill. His head is right there. I don't know if you guys can, wait. Instead of doing that, I could do this. I can just turn the camera around. Okay, let me turn it off. If... Oh, give me another one. Give me another one. Give me another one. <laughs> Take a bunch of them. I can't go anywhere without the jackery. Okay, so Gary's phone was going dead, so he went and got the jackery. I can't go anywhere without it. Watch the baby chicks. Ah, I just gave it away. That's okay. Sorry, y'all, you're getting dizzy. Okay. Is he on the outside of the... No, he climbed, he climbed back up in the fender well. He didn't even care. He climbed back up in the front one. Now he's in the other fender well. Okay, you got uh, chickens back behind it. Did you get that tire? I, I, that's the, I, I got in line where I wouldn't get the tire. Yes, Floyd, I agree. Cheek, 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 cheek. We need to get them over here. They're all right. I ain't, I ain't gonna do anything. 
but he could grab them. Cheek, 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 cheek. I agree. No, we can't smell it. Gary missed. Oh, now they're going under the chicken coop. Cheek, 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 cheek. Cheek, 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 cheek. I agree. A possum, a coon, a skunk, if they're out during the day, something's wrong with them. That's why we want him gone. And look, our house is right there. Like, if it was a possum, we'd just probably hang out. I was hoping he would run away. I have the camera on you. Huh? I had the camera on you. Um, <laughs> if it was like a possum or a coon, then we would just um, give it some time. But seeing that it's a skunk and it can spray us. If you guys heard any loud noises, that was me turning this camera on. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. So he's up in the front yeah, fender now? He's got to come down at some point. I wish we could, like, I wish our chickens would go in that coop over there and we could, over there, and we could lock them in. But, um. Well, we're here for advice. Does anybody have any advice? Yeah, Gary, why are you videoing? Because I want to uh, see how close the chickens are to that. It's crazy. They either don't know he's there or... And he obviously don't care. But like I said, we didn't find anything dead. Um, we do have a new surprise out here, which I said it a while ago. Um, yes, won't you go... Should we get some chicken scratch and just make them come over here? Which they're going to... After they eat it all, they're going to be... They'll leave. Now Carter's up there yelling. Look at Carter, that's his little roosting spot where he talks to everybody and tells them how handsome he is. <laughs> some kind of liquid running down the tire that he crawled up on. Oh, so maybe you hit him? I see the liquid. Oh, Aim well. small, miss small, but I, he didn't spray. I don't, he did. You think he went up there and peed? It don't smell like anything. No, it don't smell. The skunks, when they pee... Let Cassie shoot it. Here, let me turn them around. You guys see Carter. So, um, if you shoot him in the head, they don't stink. But if you got him in the head, he should have instantly, he shouldn't have been able to crawl up there. So, those of you that are, yeah, Carter, we know. Those of you that are just joining us, we came out here to video a surprise that is in um, the chicken pen. Oh. What? Oh, I was just looking at him. And um, I was standing right here talking about a surprise that was there and it happened I, I, we can just say yeah so no surprise anymore gary called and said hey tesla hatched out those those eggs she's been on so i ran down here with the camera and we were video for you guys which let's look right here you see right here that's tesla and they just got underneath her and she's sitting on them she's got three babies yeah so we'll be doing a video about that soon but i was standing here while gary was videoing talking about how she's been laying Goodness, I can't point. Laying right there on them. And she refused to go in the coop. She's laid on eggs all different places, wanting to be a mama so bad. But it was like 100 degrees in Oklahoma for a month and a half. And all the eggs were rotting and popping. And it was disgusting. But I couldn't get her to quit. So finally, I said, whatever. Set on the eggs. And so she's been sitting over here. Well, there was like 8 to 12 eggs she's been laying on. You want all of the bullets? No, your phone. Oh, it's right here. So she's been sitting on eight to 12. She's got three chicks under underneath her. And I was talking about how all the eggs are gone. So where did those other eggs go? I think the skunk ate them. You think so? Mm-hmm. That's what I think. I think the skunk found those rotten eggs or smelled them oh. after the chicks hatched. Oh. And I think the skunk came in to eat the eggs. And how did the skunk get underneath our electric fence? Oh, I think I see. Look right there. He's dug all underneath it. Go look, Gary, and see. You see that? Yeah, but I see white moving under that table. <laughs> so I was standing right here talking about how some of the, the eggs are gone and only three hatched, but I was super excited for Tesla that she hatched three. She's hatched three chickens. I'm pretty sure they, they're AM Samanis. They're super cute. Um, if we can get take care of this skunk problem, I'll go show them. Do we have a pressure washer? We don't. We have a water hose that shoots really hard. Why don't you, why don't you go around and show the show the uh are you gonna carry the jackery um <laughs> chicks um anyway and i was standing here talking and i went gary 
it was kind of like Easton at 5M. It was slow motion. I think I see a skunk. <laughs> and it was just laying right, right underneath that wheel up there. And so Ransom was in here with us. And I, Ransom and I went back to the house, ran back to the house. I took him in there. I told the kids not to come outside um, because we don't want to get sprayed. Like a possum, a coon. All right, let me go up there. I'll take care of you. But a skunk, you can only get so close. So, I brought it out, and Gary's like, we were going to go live at 6. Gary's like, we might as well just go live now, show them our entertainment. And Gary's phone about went dead, so he had to run and get the Jackery coming in clutch um, so that we can talk to you. We got so, 360 people in here. So, somebody asked, who is the better shot, Cassie or myself? Cassie's a great shot, um, but this um, little 22 I've had, I've, been, I've had it since I was like 12, maybe 11. And I've used it this entire time. And best entertainment. One night ago, I got a possum right between the eyes, and so it was um, yeah. at nighttime. So I, I'm a, with this with this one. I, I like to take the the shot with it, so that's why I did. But I grew up with a single shot as well with my grandpa's, and I don't have it. But um, those single shots are kind of finicky. Those old ones, and <laughs> you can show them how the uh, sights on there has like wood glue or something underneath it like bondo or something um uh, but it's really old hey brandon with rustic woodwork but you can see right there the sights how they're put on so gary is much more uh but you missed it chad said well i might have missed it <laughs> i'm still to be determined chad gary is better with that shot that single shot than i am but if we're having a competition you know who's gonna win just like who's gonna beat Bo. Bo's bow's in a tree right now y'all <laughs> Let's have a competition then. Bo's in a tree right now, y'all. And Hunter sent me a trash talking video about how they're going to beat me because I'm not in a tree. But the deal is, I didn't tell you guys on that catching up with the walkers video, and I should have, that it's not necessarily who gets it the fastest, but within how many hunts. So, like, if Bo goes and Hunter get one tonight, my first time in the tree, that's my chance to tie him. You see that white moving? Yes, I do. So, I'm, hopefully, he's about to come down. Maybe if we scoot back a little bit and be okay. quiet. Someone, why don't you get the jackery? I uh, kind of hurt my back today. I hadn't told Gary yet. Don't tell me that. <laughs> but Mazzy is trying to learn the monkey bars at school. And uh, she is a little bit fearful of things and wouldn't even get on the monkey bars not too long ago. So today was free day Friday in PE. And that means they get to do kind of what they want. And she was trying to do the monkey bars with her friends and she would get on one and not really move and then drop down. And I was super proud of her for trying oh, that. Spider web. Jeez, we just can't catch a break. Chad, come take care of this spider web. So anyway, Mazzy was trying to Mazzy was trying to do the monkey bars. And so I wanted her to get an idea what it was like to go all the way across them and how she would have to hold her weight. So I helped her and I felt it kind of tweak. And she wanted me to do it again. So I helped her again. And I said, honey, I can't do that anymore. My back's hurting. I think I did it three times. Okay. So my back kind of hurts. Why don't you go and show them the chicks. And then maybe if you get closer to the trailer, he'll come out. And I'll, I'll take care of him. You can unplug it probably for a second. Chad's saying something. If you think you hit him, <laughs> uh, hit it. Go get it. If you get sprayed, you missed. Thanks, Chad. Ninja. And I thought it might be a boring evening. Yeah, me too, Kathleen. We were going to have a boring live chat inside the house and show you some of our new merch. Chicken, get away from there. I mean, would a, would a skunk just be I, like, I don't and think kill you, it? I, think I don't think they would take it out like that. I think it would take time. Start fighting? Yeah. I mean, the chicken would run. Okay, so you want me to go over there. Yeah, just real in quick. In the line of fire. Yeah, just real quick. Okay. And chase that skunk out for you. Just to, I, I'm just, just going over this just game to, plan. Just to see if to he'll... To make sure I understand just it. Just to see if he'll move. Hey, Ricky Ventures, how are you doing? All right, I'll go for it. All right, you got to come back. I'm a game player, y'all. Did you did you guys watch that video, right. Catching Up with the Walkers? The, the battery's low, so go show them the chicks. What Our I brand kept, new baby chicks. I kept saying I'm a game player, this, and I meant to say I'm a team player. Why, this is why we have to protect. All right, this is what we have to protect. So... Let's go see the baby chicks. Hopefully I don't chase them under the trailer. Chad said a skunk won't kill a chicken. Hey, Layton. Chad says skunks won't kill a chicken. Okay, but they will spray me. I only see two baby chicks now. The, the other one's there. 
Okay. I'm not sure if I have enough tomato juice either. Look at those little chicks, guys. Aren't those the cutest thing? Yeah, there's three of them. Yeah, I see them now. They were clumped together. You better tell me if I need to move. I am. I flipped the camera. All right, so this is Tesla right here. She's mama. These are the two turkeys I hatched out. Bo gave me this one, and I hatched that one out from Tesla and... Um, what was Tesla's boyfriend's name? Elon Musk. Elon, yeah. And uh, before the coyotes took Elon. All right, I'm going to try to shoo them back the other way. Oh, sorry, kicking the camera. Oh, geez, sorry, guys. I got you on the selfie stick thing, and I keep kicking it. This is so funny. I'm glad you guys find our life entertaining because... Sometimes I think we're boring or weird, but. All right, I'm going to try to shoo everybody to the other side of the pen. If you see something, you better tell me. Bad idea. Well, I'm already here. Okay, go this way, people. Go on. Go back this way. Follow Mama. Follow Mama. Get away from the, the skunk. Follow Mama. You guys got tomato juice, right, if I need it? Come on, follow mama. Check inside the coop. Well, I don't really want to. There might be some friends in there. To, to see in it, I gotta open that door. That's too risky. See, there's the little door, but I gotta open that big door to actually see inside. Well, I'm taking one for the team. I'm just getting them closer. So, and I had told Gary when we came out here, I said, look, something's digging down here. And he said, no, I think that's chicks. Get out of there. Chad, you say you won't eat one. But I told Gary something's digging in there. You see that, all that fresh dirt? And he said, maybe it's just a chicken, but that was way too big of a hole for me to be a chicken. You want some bad news? You shot the tire. Are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> I think that one was low already a little bit. Okay, maybe that's why. I got to where I wouldn't shoot it. Okay, maybe it's just low then. It's not flat, flat, but no, it's low. I got to where I, that's that's why I missed is because I got to where. You were shooting down? I was getting down and I How was I going this out? straight back. His tail just dropped and then came back up. So he's still alive. Okay, so what are we going to do? We don't have a trap. Turkeys, get out of there! So what do you call a chicken that's being raised by a turkey? Is it like a turkin? Okay, I've got a plan. Because this, this mama hatched out chicken. She was sitting on chicken. It's not turkey eggs. Hey, I've got a little bit of a plan. V8 juice. I, did, I didn't like your last plan. See, you can go like this and you just turn it around. So, what if... I take the tractor. Someone said, can you move the coop? So what if I, I get the tractor, front end loader, and I somehow get the front end of the trailer and I pull it straight back while you stand over here, but I'd have to get the chickens lured over there. I know, that's the thing. We need the chickens out of here. And then I could like pull it out of here and with the, with the skunk underneath it. But Goats. that's the thing. Mm-hmm. Somebody said go to a vet. They have stuff to wash skunk out of dogs. Oh, so you guys are wanting us to get sprayed. You're telling us what to do if we get sprayed. We want to know how to get get a stick and hit the trailer. I don't trust that either. All right. I see its tail hanging down. I'll try that. No, what are we going to do with all the chickens? Let them be free for a while? No, I'm going to try to get a stick and hit the trailer. Oh, okay. All right. And then I'm going to take the shot. Here, just hold that. I'm going to run back over here. Okay, I'm going to put you on it, okay? I'm going to turn them around so they can see you hit this trailer and be brave. So far, all of Gary's plans has been me being brave. You got the tractor, you will be sprayed. Yeah, the tractor is right up there because Gary's been brush hogging. Well, he's going to be the one to get sprayed, not me, Scott. I, I'll drop you all like a hot potato and be over that fence. Okay. Scared the chickens. Skunk didn't even move. 
So my mom used to have a pet skunk. Growing up, my mom had a pet skunk. Uh, they found it. Sorry, all you guys missing your, the comments. I can only see for a little bit, and then I, I'm getting distracted by looking at this. But my mom and her siblings found a... It's not working, y'all. Found some skunks, and they took one to a vet and got the stinker taken out of it. And she had a pet skunk. And when people drive up to their house, how about you go get some scratch and shake it way over there? Maybe it'll leave them over there for a while. I'm thinking. <laughs> or pour out all their feed. Any more ideas, people? But anyway, when people would pull up, it would run around the house backwards with its tail up. And people would jump in their car and take off. Because they thought they were about to get sprayed. So I don't think, I don't think these... Someone had a good point. That can't be a skunk or the turkeys and chickens would be going crazy. I, I think they've gotten comfortable or thought it has left or something. I 1,000% guarantee you that is a skunk. Well, we know now because it moved. But Gary is correct in that all the eggs from over here that Tesla was sitting on, she hatched out three. She's got three babies if you just came in. <laughs> Shelly's got her popcorn. We're actually going to have family game night tonight, and the kids are excited about popcorn. But, um... All the eggshells are completely gone. No eggshells where she hatched those out. Plus there was at least eight more eggs over there that she didn't hatch out. It's charging, right? Yeah. And um, do you have any more ammo in your pocket? Yeah, I got two. Okay, because I got give some me, more. Give me a few. Gary, go get it and show it to him. Get what? Night, smoke them out. Well, we're going to have to stand here all night. <laughs> okay, smoke them out. That's an idea. But turkey, take your baby somewhere else. Look, the turkeys all the, are eating. All everybody went over there like I wanted them to. They all finally left. But she's just hanging out with her babies. They're eating. Go eating. get kids each. Go get kids each. Take a shot to see. <laughs> That's a bad idea. We'd have all four tires blown out. So if you're just joining us, the skunk is up here in this tire, and he will not come down. Gary took a shot once, and. He uh, maybe or maybe didn't get him. We saw some some no, he's, he's liquid, but I think he just peed because we don't smell nothing. All right. Oh, great. What's Chad saying? Someone's laughing at Chad. So I am going to have to. Okay. Use some gloves. I plan to go throw away. Um. So we're going to have to do something or this is going to be a real boring live. Look through a scope. The yes, that would be helpful, but it, it's open sights. You think it's wounded? Well, if it was wounded, it would be stinking because skunk at? spray. Do you need a flashlight? No. I wonder if there's like a, like a skunk mating noise that you can make or something. <laughs> oh my, this is getting worse. All right, let's see. A skunk. Skunk. Call. Call. Skunk, come out. Skunk call audio. Okay, someone said a while ago, go get the kid's remote controlled truck and drive it under there and now see if Now that works. is a plan. Yeah, I saw that a while ago and I went to say it and then I got sidetracked because you guys know I see a lot of squirrels. Okay, so here's a YouTube video. I know Bo said he's going to win. He's in the tree right now and Hunter's sending me trash talk videos saying how he's going to beat me. But the thing is, it's not who actually gets it first, who gets it in the least amount of hunts. So if they get one tonight on their first hunt, then I got to get one on my first hunt. And I'm going to wait until the best hunting day possible. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, my Lanta. Gary's got a, what is that? Skunk noise. Skunk noise. He's going to get it out with a skunk noise. All right, I'm going to turn it where they can see you. Y'all hear Gary's skunk noise on his YouTube video? That turkey's cl clucking too. He's coming out, Gary. <laughs> you would think that turkey would make him. Okay, Thanks, attorney. I'm going to kick his tail. <laughs> Gary, it's going to want to be your gonna want to be your friend <sighs> her sis hang on come back 
Someone said, my sister and I are dog groomers and have to deal with it a, a lot. Do you guys legit use tomato, ju tomato juice? Brenda says get a water hose, which that's a pretty good idea. But we have water right here. Oh, we got that hose. Yeah. I was going to say I have water, but it just okay. fills up that tank. But Gary's actually ran a hose uh, from the house. I like that idea. Good job, Brenda. Um, not boring, hilarious. Well, I'm glad you find it funny. Because a, a lot of people don't think I'm funny. When you guys tell me I'm funny, it, it makes my day. So we do have a water hose because Gary had to has been having to fill this up in between we haven't had real good sun and then the pond like gary showed you guys is completely dry i think he showed it on catching up with the walkers and so they've been drinking primarily man it's hard to point in reverse they've been drinking out of that so and not the pond usually they drink out of both so it's been the uh, well and the solar panel hasn't been able to keep up with it so gary had to run a um hose from the house to be able to fill that up when it when it gets behind. Very much a dilemma. Cause it's up in that fender well and someone said, we'll just go up there and shoot it. But I ain't getting that close to a skunk. You guys saw that I just went up and shot the possum. Not a big deal. Jojo's behind me. Jojo, go to the house. Thank you, Scott. Jojo, house. Someone said that in the beginning, what, the water hose? Sorry, I can only see comments on this phone for a second, and then they're gone. 682. Wow, you guys didn't have anything else to do tonight, did you? <laughs> Feed turkey. Hey, get some chicken scratch to get the turkeys away. Nice job, guys. Gary is going to be sleeping outdoors. Yeah, to get the turkeys to leave. She's literally laying by the wheel sorry i'm yelling in y'all's ear but look so she was eating out of this now she's laying right on the other side of the wheel with her chickens under with her chicks underneath her okay i ain't picking it up by the tail you crazy So another funny story, um, <laughs> another funny story, uh, Gary and I used to buy foreclosed houses and remodel them and live in them for two years and then sell them. And um, we were, one of the houses that we remodeled, our first one that we remodeled and we lived in after we got married, um, we finished remodeling after we got married and then we moved into it. But um, I kept hearing something in the air ducts at night or no 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 i kept finding the fuzz because it had a crawl space and the air ducts were on the floor and i kept find, finding like hair and stuff and um i told gary's like something's in those air ducts he's like there's no way so i found a lot of fuzz and i said i'm not sleeping tonight unless you put something over that air duct so gary put a big old flat of water on top of it and he we both heard it in the middle of the night and we moved it and there was hair everywhere so you guys see that loud car and a loud truck uh but um so he finally believed me so we called we called some people to come catch it nobody would we called the guy to come clean the air ducts he cleaned them but didn't find anything and then right before he left it was like scratching because he put solution in it and it was like spinning out so we knew it was down there so gary went underneath to go look for it um Maybe the next day. I can't remember if we did it that night. So he got behind the AC unit or around there and he found it. It was in the AC unit, a skunk. So he told me to go get the 22. Well, we had just moved and I, we didn't have any bullets. I had to go ask the neighbor for some, which he thought I was crazy. But when I got back, Gary remembered that our AC heat and air was natural gas. So if he would have shot it, it would have blew us up. So he stared eye to eye with the skunk for ever because he did not want it to go anywhere and we finally went and got a trap and we caught it a day or two later and our neighbors came and got it hang on i'm going to show everybody you doing that our neighbors came and got it and let it out on pump back which is way a ways it's in salina and he said that thing was like 
trying to play with him like it was a pet or something and would not run off. So maybe this is another pet skunk that we have found. All right, let's look at Gary with the water hose. He's feeling... <laughs> so Gary's gonna fill up their water while he's out here. And we're still really loving these waters. There's the two waters. And then here and there are the feeders from um, Egg Makers Acres. And they're working out awesome. I love that they're see-through because when I drive, every time I drive up and down, I look, see if they're full, if they need anything. Um, and ready? yeah, but you gonna get the gun or me? Oh, so I need to make sure they're not going to fall. And should they be able to see us do it, or will we get yeah, in trouble? Yeah, but hang on. I ain't got it. nothing in it. And there's a turkey on the other side. Two turkeys. Okay. Cow's moving. And this gun, this is pointed safely. It might look like a bad angle, but it's pointed safely. Neighbors that are driving by are like, what are they doing out there? We're in the drought. You have to watch down the foundation. Right, I see. That was a good idea, but it's not working. Do y'all think Gary just needs to get closer? Put the hose on full blast, is it? Yeah. It is on full blast. It's coming all the way from up there, though, up at the house. Hey, oh, you can't... Uh, what if you put a nozzle on the end of it? I'm going to unload this. What if you put a nozzle on the end of it so it'd shoot harder? Harder. I broke that hose and it doesn't have an end on it. Scott said you need to go just a little closer. So if you're just joining us, we were out here videoing and... Okay. Wait, wait. He's down. No, part of him's down. You guys see that moving? We were out here videoing. Oh, tail's up. You take care of business? All I can see is tail. He's not all the way down yet. Back up higher. Okay. We got movement.
Goodness sakes alive, just getting down for a <laughs> Yeah, if, if a skunk's out during the day like this, it's got something wrong with it. Plus how lazy and nonchalant, like, it doesn't even care we're here. So. He cares, he's hiding. Yes, we know where the, the kittens are up there. <sighs> but we were out here videoing. I saw a skunk. And now it's up. Un it was laying under the trailer when we first saw it. But once we got set up and all that. And I went and got something to take care of it with. It got up in the thing. We're going to be here. We're going to be here all night. Someone said smoke it out. It's time. Smoke signals. We're trying to get that skunk. Now you can see through the tires. Yeah. Oh, you guys see that? He sprayed a bunch of dirt out, didn't he? 815. I'm not sure what our record number on a live is. What do you think, Gary? 815 is pretty good. I don't know. If he'll come out, though, we can get him. Yeah, not afraid of humans me sick could have rabies. I agree. That's why we don't want it in here for sure. Well, we got and three brand new baby chicks. We got three new baby chicks. That's what we came out here to video. We're pretty sure he has eaten all of the uh, extra. Okay. What? You have another? Is this plan F? I lost track. So. I kind of. Okay. So if I go get the tractor, what do you think is going to happen? What did you say the problem was with that? Someone said he was going to spray you. Very well, well, very well possible. <laughs> Got any for crack? What? Can we draw it out some, with some food? Probably if we put it out and like waited a little bit. I like think some it was food. on its way to come down a while ago, and you wanted me to spray it a second time. I think it was about ready to come out. You think so? Yeah, because he thought like the rain was over. <laughs> okay, rain just got me. Was that off your head or is it raining? Probably off my head. <laughs> you sweating? Yeah. No, it's raining. Nice. Now it's raining. Okay. So, should I just go, should I just go over there and shove this up in there and take care of it? Is that dumb? Do you have a fire extinguisher? We do have a fire extinguisher. We have to have a fire extinguisher to be a foster family. That is a fire extinguisher cheap. Can you go spray it out with that? That's yeah. a good idea. I, go get it. I could, but I feel like I'm going to get sprayed at that point. Oh, that's true. How far does a fire extinguisher shoot that you get from Walmart? Probably like 10 feet. Hello, hello from England. Awesome. 817. That's probably the most we've ever had in a life. I'm not really worried about it, but let's do something with this. this uh... Someone said, get the possum run. Said, get the trailer. You mean like move it, get the tractor, and move the trailer? That's what Gary wants to do. Wasp spray. Do you have wasp spray? That shoots far. You also have a spider web <laughs> stuck to your head. You can see him? So, okay. Hang on. Gary, Gary just. So, when you go to the. Had a light bulb. When you go to the front of the trailer, you've got tire, and then you've got fender, and there's a spot in the middle that there, you can go in there and you can see him right now. So, you can go take a, take a, um, a pow pow. I'll be back. See if you see what I'm talking about. You see what I'm talking about? I see white. Hang on. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't think we have any other option right now. It's starting to rain. Yeah, you're good. Okay, I'm not. Got him. He gone. I don't know. I don't want to smell it. Oh, I dropped my phone. Keep an eye on him. <laughs> oh, I smell, smell it. it. I smell it. Oh, oh, that's bad. Oh, 
<laughs> That's bad. Come on. <laughs> oh, it stinks. Oh. That's so bad. Oh, why am I carrying this heavy thing? Okay, we're, we're, I think we're not downwind now. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> and that will tell you. Oh, it still smells. Cassie will do anything to protect her chickens. I don't smell this bad. Look, they're all gathered around. Woo, come on. Go. Better. Now look right here. Oh, look right here. Look. That might be moles, but it might be. It smells bad. So now the plan is to move that trailer with something later. I won't, I'll let it settle. And when I move the trailer, then I'll, I'll go in there and we'll drag it out or something. So once, once I, I walk, he's dead, dead. You, he was, he was kicking. You want to go double check or you want sure, me to? Sure, it's your turn. <laughs> Jeez. I don't think he's going anywhere. Here, you need these? Of course I need those. Thanks. This is from Chad too. Hey, look, look, once you go around this way, babe, it may not, may not be as smelly. Um, what, what are those called? Fire sticks, fire candy, firecracker. What'd you call those, Chad? Freedom candy. Brought to you by Adler Farms when we traded him a rabbit. <laughs> Thank you, Chad, for saving my chickens. <laughs> he can't do it. <laughs> he can't do it. Smells too bad to go look. I told you if you go on this side, you may not smell it. <laughs> that is bad. I literally, I ran four miles <laughs> right before this live, or right before we're going live, and that smells a thousand times worse than I do. Like, I'm getting a hint of the smell over here, but not near as bad. Oh, geez, I just stepped on the cord. If y'all are wondering why I'm pulling this jackery around, Gary didn't realize till after we went live that, uh... His battery was going dead. The turkeys and the chickens might stink, but that's not my problem. I protected them, so. Sorry if you heard a weird noise. I was making sure the camera was clean. She's got her, the turkey. So we had to put, uh, plug Gary's phone in. He ran and got this real quick. Jackery to save the day so you guys could be out here with us as we did this. Did he fall down? So, hi, it's who? Oh, call my dog back. Jojo, house. <laughs> Jojo knows something happened now. Jojo, he's gonna stink. Just in the stuff in the air. Yeah, I should have went and got some Vicks Vapor Rub. Okay, Shannon said, go get some Vicks Vapor Rub, put on three masks, and we'll be good. <laughs> oh, my. All right, guys, we protected them. We showed you the babies. I'll use my tractor front end loader to move that trailer tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah, I ain't going to do that. I don't have to do that tonight. Scuba diving gear. Yeah, that's what we need, Sock Ninja. Glad you did it, Smell. Stay up wind, yeah. All right, well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, so, the whole point of our live tonight that we're not doing right now, that we were gonna do, was we have hoodies um, yeah. for fall. Fall weather's moved in, we have Walker Farm Fam hoodies. If anybody's interested in one, go over to walkerfarmfam.com. Check out our um, shirts and hoodies over there. We but got we, hats as well. We got hoodies for the fall. And we might have to start putting a skunk on our yeah. on our, um, our Walker Farm Fem logo. We actually do have a skunk. You told that story a while ago, didn't you? Yeah. We had 905 for a second. That's got to be a record. Um, we have a skunk um, ornament on our Christmas tree because of that skunk story that Cassie told Yeah. Me. Gary sat eye to eye with it for hours while we tried figuring out what we were going to do. Skirt, skunk merch. When? Coming soon. Dropping November 1st. No, I'm kidding. Um, 
But good job. Yeah, good job. Uh, we yeah, we got hoodies. They're in the store. It's hoodie weather. If you live in Canada like Scott, you've been wearing a hoodie for three months. But um, we'd love for you guys to go over and. Where's your phone? Sorry. Buy a hoodie, get a free gas mask. Uh, hang on, sorry. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going to have to go back and read these comments. You guys have got some good ones. But um, if one of the moderators can put our um, our web page in there, walkerfarmfam.com, you guys go check out the hoodies. I, I made it shorter, and then I regretted it because now I'm having to bend over. There you go. Um, and you guys go check those out. Get you a hoodie if you'd like one. I believe they're gray. And we got small through 3XL. Yep. I think so. So... Um, we appreciate you guys for going and checking those out. If anybody want to recap everything before we get off. Go so for it. If you guys um, were getting here late. They better not blow towards the house tomorrow. And you missed the action, that that would be a north wind. No. Yeah, that would be a north wind. And I think we'll just have south wind. But yeah, if a north wind blows, we're going to smell it tonight. <laughs> we're pulling that trailer to the neighbors. <laughs> um, but I went out um, to feed the chickens and gather eggs. Which you gathered eggs. How far from that? Um, about three feet away from that skunk. I went in there to gather eggs and I saw, um, three baby chicks. So I called Cassie and said, Cassie, get out here. There's baby chicks. And our turkey has been setting on baby chicken or chicken eggs to hatch baby chicks. So she came out here. Um, we were planning to go live later, but instead we decided to go live because she spotted that skunk. Yeah. I was showing you guys, Gary was videoing it. It'll come out. I was showing you guys where the turkey had been laying and I said she was laying on like 8 to 12 eggs. Where are all the eggs at? She hatched out three. I should at least see shells. I should see something. And I look over and like I'm a very um, pay attention to detail type person. Like when we go in a restaurant I can tell Gary what every table is talking about and he's like how do you know that? I was like because I've been listening to them and watching them. And so like I, I notice things. if if. Something's were, different one day, I notice it. There were feathers, is that what you noticed? Well, there was feathers, but no, I looked under, I just gazed, and I saw something white under that coop that I knew shouldn't be there. And we're videoing, and I'm like, there's a skunk under the coop. <laughs> so Ransom was out here. Him and I ran to the house. I took him back up, got something to take care of it. Gary said, we were going to go live at 6. We might as well go live now, which good thing we did because it's after 6. And... We thought you guys would enjoy that. Some of you guys are going to be like, why did you get that poor thing? Well, okay. it stinks. So number one, <laughs> why we dispatch the skunk? Because there's going to be people whine. Number one, we take care of our animals first. That skunk was in the pen for a reason. And he ate, he had to have eaten all those eggs that I could He find. either ate eggs, he either ate baby chicks, because those baby chicks are like this big. True. And he could have ate some of those chicks. There may have been more because she was sitting on a lot more eggs. Mm -hmm. He ate the rotten eggs, but he's here in the middle of the day. Skunks are nocturnal. They should come out at night. And we don't let our chickens and our animals have a chance with predators. If it's a predator, it's gone. But also, our kids come out and collect eggs, just like the possum the other day, which someone just said... like me. I could have got spoiled. Yeah. Someone said, you don't look in those boxes first. Well, we kind of do, but we, like, look as you're sticking your hand in. And it's kind of an awkward angle. angle. But um, if the kids went up there, they just would have stuck their hand on that possum. What would have it done? I don't know. Bit them. <laughs> and that skunk, the kids just would have went up there. They would end up sprayed. Probably wouldn't have bit them, the skunk, because it was underneath there. But they would have ended up sprayed. That's nasty. So... Um, we have this fence. Rabies. So there's a good chance the skunk yes. could have had rabies. If it's out during the middle of the day. Because it's out in the middle of the day. Poss that possum out in the middle of the day, this skunk, something's wrong with them because they're supposed to do that stuff at night. Um, so we have this fence. The bottom wire, you want to show them? Yeah, the bottom wire is not energized. The bottom wire is black. You on it? I hope and so. it is not, um, you can flip it around, babe. Oh. <laughs> well, Cassie's smart. Hey, look at that right there. That ain't chicken poop. You see that? Yeah. You see that, guys? And see where something has been digging right here? But it looks like they've dug from this direction. But you guys see that? That ain't chicken poop. What is that? What's skunk poop look like? That's... Anyway, this right here, this black wire is not electrified so that it can be on the ground and not ground out. But... We do have some weeds. Like if you look over there, there's some weeds and stuff in it. There's some saggy spots. Ow! It's not on. No, it was a thorn. Oh. See it? Yeah. Um, 
So there are some spots and we're, I, I saw a pretty good spot back there, I think. I ain't going back there now because it stinks, but we're gonna go around and see where they're getting in. We need to take care of the weeds here or possibly mow a new spot and move them because they've been here for a while. It's about time to put them around the garden. But anyway, we love this Premier One netting. It's done a great job. With livestock, Gary says you're gonna have dead stock. It's gonna happen. Things do happen. It has protected our chickens well. We now have the automatic chicken coop door. So thankfully, when they went in tonight, that would have went down. The skunk would not have been able to get in. So some people are saying that the chickens might munch on the skunk. They said chickens will eat anything. I don't know about that. It tastes bad, but we'll we'll get rid of it. But I might go. I'll get the tractor. We're not, go, we're not going right now. It stinks. I won't do it on live, but I'll I'll get the tractor in just a little bit, and I'll put on my uh, my uh, uh, gas respirator mask, respirator thing, my respirator, and I might go try to move the trailer back, and then use the uh, bucket on the tractor to scoop up the skunk and move it out. So I really don't want to touch it. No, we'll we'll get rid of it, but or build a fire around it. Did you hear that? Yeah, oh, good. kids are on the trampoline. They're playing. Um, yeah, set the whole thing on fire. You, Gary thinks, Gary says that I would like one of those semi-trailer ones, so maybe we should just do that. Yeah, I'm burn that metal one I've been down. looking for a 53-foot box metal? trailer. All so, right. So, people were saying, um, I am observant, Grace, that's what it is. Um, my dad uh, is a Vietnam veteran and was in the Army. He was in the Big Red One. Um, he was known for his rifle skills and things and he's probably been observant my entire life and I've picked up on that and um, So my dad is also the one that taught me how to shoot Gary could have easily shot that just now too, but my dad was that, very meticulous Meticulous is that how you say it? Yeah, I guess and particular meticulous he would um, Make me about drive nails when we would shoot and I appreciate that because I've become a decent shooter. Thank you, Donald Thank you so much five dollar super chat. You did not have to do that. Thank you um, That will buy that tire that Gary blew out. No, it's not. It's just low. Um, I hope it's low I hope they didn't blow it out. <laughs> so anyway um, My dad just he taught me how to breathe how to hold the gun how to steady it how to take aim and he made me drive nails This close wasn't good enough. I had to be right dialed in so thank you dad for making me shoot right and that was, once you got up there, though, that was... Catch, clean, cook, no. No, catch, clean, and cook. That was, you could see a lot more of it, though, couldn't you? <laughs> Did Bo specify that it had to be a deer? No, I don't know, Bo. <laughs> I don't know, but it had to be with my bow. <laughs> um, you haven't had your morning coffee. It's uh, 622 in the evening here. They're on the other side of the world. Sorry, part. what were you going to say? Um, I said once you got in front of that trailer, though, you could see it. That was a good one. It was, it was setting on the leaf spring of the trailer, and so it was in between the leaf spring and the tire, or the leaf and spring. I can see and, that white stripe, so I just went for that white stripe. Yeah, and you can see that real good. So as soon as I walked around to that side, we hadn't walked over there yet, had we? No. And so as soon I, as, I had walked over, but I was trying to make sure he hadn't got on the outside. I didn't look between. They want to awesome, see us move Linda. the skunk. Y'all, it stinks. Did you see me about throw up a while ago? <sighs> I ain't touching it. How are we gonna move it? I don't know. Here. With a stick? I was gonna get the tractor and move the trailer either way. Okay, let, let me see. You might, you're probably charged enough. Let me go over there and see if I can. Let me. No. Okay, you did you go that way and it stunk bad? I want to get the tractor in here. We're going for it, y'all. Bad shot, that's why it smelled. Yeah, I, I probably didn't get it right in the head. If you shoot them in the head like when they're in a trap. We've shot them in the head before. And um, they don't stink. So, wasn't a bad shot because I killed it. But it was a bad shot that... It stinks. I'm not smelling it yet. You got, let me turn you guys around. I am a team player and a game player. <laughs> oh, I see him in between that tire. And I'm nuts because why am I walking up here? What? Oh, he wants me to go move that feed bucket. Get, grab a shovel. Thank you, Chicken River Homestead. $9.99 Super Chat. I appreciate that. So, you want me to go close enough to get the feed bucket? You want me to go close enough to get the feeder? Okay, let me get right on that. 
Dr. B, thank you so much. Best movie she's seen in a long time. Worth the cost of a ticket. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. Well, hang on. Let me make you guys shorter. I'm dragging the bottom of this stick. Gary says, Oh, you guys see that feeder right there? That's where the skunk is. Gary says I should go take that off. Sounds like a good plan to him. Sounds like a horrible plan to me. Plus, my protection I left over there. I'm not a very good, uh, not real good at this. See those feathers? I keep finding random feathers. Woo, I smell it. I smell it. Oh, there's the baby chicks. Whoever wanted to see them. Turkey hatched them out. This is how I'm standing because it's bad. Oh, I, I can't get any closer. Oh, don't breathe in. Only breathe out. I'm gonna go need to get a face covering if I'm gonna move that. Only good thing about 2020, we got plenty of face coverings laying around. Hey, you want me to go get something? Don't break my feeder. Hey, don't break my feeder. What? Don't break that feeder. Ugh. I guess I'll contact Seth over at Eggmaker Acres and be like, can you, can you send me a new feeder? My husband broke it trying to move a trailer that had a dead skunk in it. Gary says I should plug in. You guys still there? Something flashed on the screen. I don't know what it said. Here. Let me take you with me. I got to carry this jackery. Let me turn you around. Yeah, I'll breathe through my mouth, Judy. That's what I was trying to do. Whew. See, look, there's more poop right there. I wonder how long he's been in here because that's crusty. You guys see that? Oh, Gary's going for it. What? What? <laughs> Good job, chickens. I think y'all are all accounted for. We'll get to that in a second. Okay, don't smell as bad over here now. Look, look at the baby chicks. Don't get underneath that tractor, y'all. Oh, I smell it again. Don't say there's more than one. You guys stay with mama, okay? Stay out of the way. Woo! Smells worse right here. Out the mouth. Breathe out the mouth. No pressure, Gary, but 860 people are watching you. Stop! You guys see him? There he is. He gone. He gone. Hold my nose and breathe out my mouth. Maybe that'll work. Good job, babe. Now I go pick him up. Am I yelling really loud? care of these weeds while you're in here what's he doing hang on Okay, I gotta run. Hold my breath! Hold my breath! Woo! Woo! Okay, that's better.
Look at him. He's not little. He big. Why you want me over here? Yes, we will check both coops inside and out in a second. Look, there's a guy on his bicycle. He thinks we're crazy. <laughs> you missed! Thanks, M.I.M. We're going to need some. Thanks, buddy. $20 super... man it's too it's too it's rounded instead of flat <sighs> I've been like this yeah Gary said he likes that distance can't breathe it doesn't stink on this side it's when when you get anywhere from like there to over there that's when it really stinks as long as you stay on the side, it doesn't stink. Okay, I lied. It's coming over here. All I could smell was diesel there for a little bit. All right, there he is. Gary said he's going to get the shovel. Uh, Chicken Run Homestead, was that your name? I'm sorry, I can't remember. You said go get the shovel. Gary's going. This under a mask. I believe it. All right, it doesn't smell. Let's see. Whoops. Man, he's big, but aren't they pretty? I really think they're pretty. He's a big old skunk. All right, so y'all wanted me to check inside. Gary's gonna go get a shovel. If I die, you guys are the witnesses. Let me set you up. This thing's kind of finicky. Oh, it's gonna fall. Okay. Dig a deep hole. That thing's going way away from this farm. So the grass is super tall and I can't get this to set up. Hang on. Maybe I should just take y'all with me. <laughs> Scott, that is uh all right, hope you guys don't fall over. Yeah, that one's all clear. But guess what? There's zero eggs in there. Let me show you. Mm. Sorry, we're missing so many comments. Y'all are awesome mods, though. They know what you're saying. And I'll have to go back. Oh, Debbie Miller, 1999. Thank you so much. You don't have to do that. We truly appreciate it. Oh, and while wow, Gary's gone, see? That tire, oh, it's got some air in it, so I don't think he hit it. I was gonna say your Super Chats is gonna buy us a new tire. I think it's just flat, like you said. It's old, old tires. But anyway, it needs to be cleaned out. But that's where that possum was laying the other day. Usually I just open that door and stick my hand in, but before I stuck my hand in, I saw fur. Thanks, Melinda. Oh, you're, you're so sweet. You're cracking me up. Best YouTube channel, hands down. So someone said, if you leave it alone, it'll go away at night. That's true. 
But I'm gonna leave that open and I'm gonna tell Gary to go to the back and check it because I'm not. But if a skunk is out, hey, somebody went and bought a hoodie. Thank you so much. We just got a notification. If a skunk is out during the day, more than likely, sorry, you're having to stare at my mouth. More than likely something's wrong with it because it's not normal for a skunk to be out during the day. They're supposed to be out at night. So more than likely it has rabies or something wrong with it. Or it's been here a while hanging out under that track uh, coop and we just hadn't noticed it. I need to check the other coop, but I don't want to. Yes, Mother Earth, you're right. Let's check this one. They wanted me to make sure there wasn't any friends. Oh, yeah. Any babies or what? Ah! Oh, I'm just kidding. Did I get you? <laughs> this one is all clear. And oh my goodness, look at where they're laying the eggs. Little stinkers. Did I scare anybody when I did that? Look at all those eggs. They're, putting all, they're laying all their ah, eggs. I knew they had to be somewhere. I looked earlier and I only found three. <laughs> So, usually, those chickens lay theirs over there in that box, and then these chickens lay in their boxes, which are right here. I can only go so far. But instead of laying them in there, we need to put some more shavings in there for them. They're laying them right here. Look at all those. Chad, is that 456? 456 eggs? All right, that one's all clear. It seemed like on that tractor, I shook my head because there was a limb above me. I pushed my head down, I hit the, uh, hit my cheek on the oh. steering wheel. <laughs> Anybody catch that? All right, you gonna get, put him in that? Yeah, I'm gonna probably take him down to the, I've got a brush pile I'm gonna burn it. Someone said dig a deep hole. I'm gonna, i got a brush pile I'm gonna burn it. Oh my. Somebody went and bought something. We got a notification on your phone. Oh, right. Thank you guys so much. If you guys are just getting here, we have hoodies for fall and winter over on our website walkerfarmfam.com go get you a walker farm fam hoodie hat t-shirt we'd truly appreciate it all right prepping the bag i'm gonna try to get them right there 955 people this has to be like a record you know, I don't, i'm good i'd rather there not be a skunk in my chicken <laughs> he's a big one ain't he I, I did i got up close it doesn't smell now it's like right here I guess it's one stink and you're done. Or we're used to it. How much out? <laughs> oh, you don't think I'm funny. They think I'm funny. He's a big one, ain't he? Yeah, poor guy. Whatever. He just found the wrong spot today. Whoop. I'm going to leave this out here to get washed out. I kicked on it a while ago. What do you think? I don't know. I think it works sometimes. Well, a couple of nice people who were able to send us some super chats. You guys don't have to do that. No one's got to do that. Um, but that'll pay for you a new tire maybe, Gary. Thanks, guys. Now's not the time to get your foot stuck in that wire and fall <laughs> and not land on top of you. Your sack's ripping. Now you smell it. I don't smell nothing. <laughs> oh, oh, I smell it. It takes a second. Oh, yep, you stirred it up. No, I think the wind's blowing slightly that way. Oh, well, I'm, I'm going this way. What time is it? Like 6.40? What time is it, guys? I'm carrying a Jackery. I can't look at my watch. Gary didn't realize when we went live his phone was about dead, so he had to run and get the Jackery. Look, there's something else that don't belong. Oh, Go. That's goat! You guys might have said that earlier. We carry that thing. I can't carry it anymore. I totally forgot we used to have those little goats in here. You guys might have been saying that, but when I was saying that is not chicken poop, why is it in here? We used to have goats. That's goat poop. I'll come close all this up in a little bit. All right, so now. Hang on, I made it short again. Here, you hold it. I'll make it long. 
So now hopefully everybody's happy because you guys had me worried. You started saying that the um, chickens were gonna eat on that skunk. I don't think they would. I mean, they've got all the food they can eat, like a full buffet of chicken I'm pellets. I'm sweating, I need something to drink. But I don't think, I don't know if they would have bothered it, but now we 100% know. 640. The, the skunk is far away from the chicken. He's about ready to go to a brush pile. I'll put him on top of the brush pile, add a little bit of encouragement, and then I'll start it. And I do not use gasoline, so that be, be safe. Uh-oh, kid crying. Um, I think they're just yelling at each other someone's I'm, mad on i'll the go trampoline. check i'll go check on them so well we've been on for 75 oh, minutes wow it's over there on the ground His, they said don't forget the 22. gotcha i will get it right now so thank you guys so much um for following along i know that this was a little hectic live but i feel like i feel like those are the lives that are the best is whenever you don't expect to go live but you have to Here's the eggs Gary collected earlier. Yeah, those are three. the three. Instead three. of four, five, six, four. Those are the three four, eggs six. that were right next to the yeah. um, the skunk. Excuse me. Uh, they said Chad's chicken ate a mouse. So yeah, so maybe they do eat rabbit animals. Yeah, but a mouse don't smell like rank. <laughs> that was wretched. It was bad. So. All right, we should probably end it, even though I hate to. I like to just hang out with y'all. Um, but I don't have anything else to say and I need some water. So as you guys know, the uh, tickets for OK Homestay and Expo went live today. Make sure you guys check that out. Check out the YouTube channel over there. Exciting stuff coming. OKHomestead.com to get you some tickets. Um, we're really excited about that. We're so glad that the, I'm so glad that we spotted the skunk and we're able to take care of the skunk. And so many of you came along with us. Water hose idea, remote control truck, all the things was great ideas. So, yeah, you guys really helped us. The remote control truck probably would have worked, but my worry was there is that it would have got sprayed, and the <laughs> boys, the boys really like. <laughs> Ransom just got a brand new one he really likes, and then the other one is super fast and he loves it too. Yeah. So I didn't want to ruin their toys, but I could have bought him another one, I guess. Joe, you fighting something back there? No, he's good. All right. Well, we better get off here. We thank you guys so much. We love you oh. guys. Chickasaw Scott said chickens can't smell or taste. So there you go. They wouldn't have tasted this nasty stuff. They will eat it. No wonder why they'll eat anything. We got right. a thousand people. There's no way. Thanks. Uh, may, oh, a thousand views. Thanks, cool. um, Rambling with the Brums. Thanks, Scott. Um, he posted the Okie Homesteading. You guys, we're not going to give away any details, but take a little break. And just a little bit longer this evening, there might be somebody go live with more details about the Oakley Homesteading meetup. That's all we're going to say. We're not going to say who or what, but all I can say is watch that notification bell. Yeah, so our plan was to go live at 6. We were going to talk about our new merch we got in, and then this happened. So head over to walkerfarmfam.com, check out our hoodies. We got hats and t-shirts like always. Um, sorry, on the live I was going to say too, this Sunday at church, we're going to have a special guest, Leighton Howerton. So if you guys don't have anything to do Sunday morning at 9.45ish, 10.45. 10.45-ish. <laughs> uh, time. Central time. Then we've got a really cool singer. He's kind of a, how would you describe him? Storyteller. Country, western, blues, mix. Like Storyteller. Bluegrass. Yeah. So he anyway. He plays lots of different instruments. He plays a lot of different instruments. He's a real treat to listen to. He's going to be doing a con concert thing at our church, probably yeah. part of the service. So anyway, if you're not doing anything this Sunday, join us over. Um, we'll, we'll leave it in the description of this live later on. Yeah, and I always uh, put the live, uh, Gary does the words on the screen, I run the cameras and do the live for you guys to be able to watch on our church's YouTube, or Facebook page, and then they also do put on YouTube. So, I usually, when we make it live, um, I watch it on my phone to make sure the audio is good, and I usually tag it to our Facebook page. Um, so, if you, if you don't, go over to our Facebook page, follow us, and you'll get notified when that happens, or um, it's, you can also go to Locust Grove Free Will Baptist on Facebook or on YouTube. It's just not live on it, YouTube. It won't be on this channel, but we'll, we'll put a um, community post announcement about it. His name is Leighton Howerton. If you guys want to look up some of his music um, between now and then to see if you want to attend, go for it because he's a great singer and you guys will enjoy. Yeah, so we love you guys. We hope you have a great, awesome, amazing weekend. You're the best because I'm pretty sure no one had any mean comments about what just happened. So we love you guys. We have the best 
Best subscribers. Subscribers, and yes, I'm gonna skunk bow. And somebody said, can you watch it later? Yes, you can watch Leighton yeah. Howerton later on the Facebook Live replay, so. And on YouTube, once they upload it to our church's YouTube page, I'll put it in our community post so you can watch it later. All right. That work? Thank you, guys. Love you guys. Love you.